Pentagon claims 2,000% increase in Russian trolls after S. Riot strikes. What does that mean? San Francisco The Pentagon claimed a 2,000% increase in Russian troll activity on social media following the U.S. led missile strikes against Syria Friday night. Spokeswoman Dana White said in Saturday's Pentagon briefing that the activity escalated during the 24 hours following the strike. The Russian disinformation campaign has already begun, White said. White did not detail how the Defense Department calculated that figure, but said the Pentagon would supply the facts. Moving forward, questions about the alleged 2,000 percent increase and how it was measured swirled on social media. The Pentagon did not respond to a request for comment Sunday. U.S. forces launched targeted missile strikes Friday at military outposts in Syria where the government was believed to have stored chemical weapons that killed dozens of civilians last weekend. Syria has denied the use of chemical weapons on its people. Secretary of Defense James Mattis said Saturday's press briefing would combat false information coming from Russia, a key ally of Syrian President Bashar Assad's regime. We can all see that a Russia disinformation campaign is in full force this morning, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley said at a U.N. Security Council meeting Saturday. But Russia's desperate attempts at deflection cannot change the facts. A Russian troll army deployed by the Kremlin-linked Internet Research Agency has been accused of hijacking social media conversations to sow political division on social media particularly during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The Pentagon had identified such efforts as a modern form of state-sponsored warfare. Last year, a defense intelligence report on Russian military capabilities included a section on the weaponization of information. Americans need to understand that the wars of the future will look more like this, Russia is investing significant resources to create propaganda and disinformation, Senator Ben Sass, our Nebraska, said in a statement Saturday. The fog of war will not be limited to our situation rooms and battlefields. Our enemies will work to create confusion and distrust among the Americans here at home.